Now right here, if she moves a lot, I can still grab the saddle and just pull it off towards me. Having said that, I would prefer not to. I would also prefer if I dumped my ladder go up on the other side. Move a little to the right. Nothing's going to happen to you. Just move a little to the right near my back leg. I promise it will be okay. Now, what you do in this part depends a little bit on you. I have this just snug enough that I'm pretty sure it's not going anywhere. And you can either step to the front and kind of hold her head up just a little bit. Having said that though, if you feel like you can't control it, basically get out of the way. And then, she's big enough, I'm going for the uh, second option. I'm just going to keep kind of moving her hind end away from me, just like that, so she can't get her back feet planted under her to really buck. Now, when I do what I call these little hindquarter partial yields, partial hindquarter yields, it's I just send her around, swing her hind end just a wee bit away from me, and then just keep her lunging. The idea behind this is I just kind of get to keep taking control back from her. At the same time, don't do a full hindquarter yield because you don't want the horse to turn face you and then buck running into you. And that's so, you gotta be careful. You can swing the hip away, but you only want to do it a little wee bit at a time. So as you go along, you can kind of feet the rope out a little bit. Let her get a little farther away. Now I'm not too worried about really lunging very well here. I'm just kind of letting her move around. quarters. Again, I don't want to be right in front of her all that bad. 